Hi everyone, uh, thanks for continuing to send in all of your questions. We had a really good response to the last video, so the team's asked me to do another one for you today. Uh, I've got 11 of the most asked questions for you and I hope the answers are useful. Yeah, look, a lot of people are asking about whether we're gonna keep doing the E-Series. The big thing is, and why it's been so successful is because of all of the drivers participating. We'll definitely have a conversation with them about keeping this up going forward, but it's a great opportunity, as I think everybody has seen, for us to stay in touch and stay relevant when we're not on the track for real. So there's plenty of incentive to keep it up. G'day, John. Look, we obviously would ideally like to be running with as many thousands of screaming fans as possible, but the reality of the situation is we want to get back on track and we'll get back on track as soon as we possibly can in any way possible. So yes, of course, considering TV only under the current restrictions is something that we're forced to do. Hi Nick, it's a good question and it's the one on many people's lips right now. We're really buoyed by so much of the positive narrative that's coming out of government and I don't think you'll be waiting too much longer. Our plan is to be able to announce to you and all of our partners uh, in the middle of this month exactly when we're going to get back on track, but it's not too much longer to go, I promise. Stuart, we've been really focused on making sure that we get the shape and the construct of the championship right domestically, making sure that we're maintaining our national footprint, making sure that we've got the right turnaround times for teams, our broadcast partners. So we put, ironically put a lot of time and effort into getting the calendar right this year. And our intention was once we've got that right, we can start to reconsider going overseas again. It's not off the table, but we wanna get our home game sorted first. Hi Peter, I'm sure the guys in the commission will be considering potential testing and, and how we best get up to speed, but keep in mind that they're gonna to have to balance the amount of testing they do prior to the season starting and once the season starts again with costs. So it's always a, a bit of give and take there, but we'll do everything that we can to make sure that everybody gets enough practice time to get up and running again. And don't forget, these are the best drivers in the world and, and they can turn it on pretty quickly. David, that's a great question and, and thank you for asking it. I think first of all, I reach out to your team, have a chat to them about memberships, any merchandise, and make sure you're letting all of their sponsors know that you're buying their products because they sponsor a supercars team. Once restrictions are lifted, our mobilization time is about 28 days, so we can move really, really quickly as soon as we get the green light, which is why you're starting to see some more positive movement from us here at Supercars. Is Marcus Ambrose coming back? Well, I don't know, that's really a question for Marcus, but if you can convince him to come back, I think we'd love to have him, and maybe once you've done that, you could get him to call out Greg Murphy too. Around the E-Series has been a resounding success. I think everybody's been really positively surprised by how many of you, how many of our fans have been tuning in every week. And we really appreciate you guys doing that. It helps all of us, our teams, our sponsors stay relevant in a really tricky time for everybody. You also asked about Triple Eight and the work that Erebus have been doing. Amazing job. I think what everybody's getting to see is just how entrepreneurial our teams are, how much they care, and how innovative they are, and, and the fact that they're able to turn their attentions to the community around them so quickly. So they've done an amazing job and, and full credit to them for that. Hi Rachel, Th thanks for asking about what we can do for children. I think it's a very difficult and expensive sport to get into, so my first piece of advice would be get involved in sim racing. I mean, have a look at the profile that it's starting to get in the marketplace here. And if you look forward to later in the year, we will have our professional uh, E-Series, which is open to everybody to try out and compete for. And then obviously we work with a lot of different support categories to help young drivers come through from Toyota 86s, Formula Ford. We're always looking at talent coming through the ranks. And if you need any advice, get in touch with your local race team. They'll be more than happy to help. We have been putting out some old races and historical races with our partners in Fox in, in Australia and Sky in New Zealand, but 
clearly we're not doing enough, so we take it on board. Stay tuned to our social channels and we'll get you an update early next week on where and how you can tune in to see some more great old races from supercars.